G'day there mate, my name is Mr. McGillicuddy and welcome back once again to my channel. Today we'll be continuing our story of Middle Earth. Do you mind? Sheesh. Continuing the story of Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, the Lord of the Hunt DLC. So in a previous episode we got introduced to five new Beastmaster War Chiefs who want to use Karagoths and other beasts to add to Sauron's army. So today we're here to disrupt more of that, find more Torvin's uh, journals. Ooh, that was a flash of lightning. Uh, find more Torvin's journals and everything else in between. So let's get started with this one out here. So enough of my rambling, let's get going. Okay. Now again, I will just be showing you the deals, the uh, collectibles and all the uh, missions you can do in here. I won't be engaging with any other fun stuff, but I will be showing off all the uh, fun stuff you can do with all the uh, all of the hunt uh, abilities that you get. It's just too bad this stuff doesn't carry over into the main game. Thank you. Ah well. What can you do? What can you do? Ooh. This way, that way, this way, and that way. <laughs> uh, oh, I think done. What? Oh, do we have to climb up? Oh, what? <sighs> Sorry, my dad was just calling for some help. Um, in here. A lot of ghouls we have to face down here. Let's hope no more pop up. Mm. That was not fun. No sorry, Bob. This way, and that way. Okay, so I think it's behind that gate there, so we're gonna have to go the long way around. Oh joy. Mm. So I had to scratch my leg. Hey, let's try this again. They really need to make another RPG for the Lord of the Rings saga, but this time, much better than what uh, Lord of the Rings Online was from what I heard. I haven't played it myself, but I have heard the reviews were pretty bad. But another RPG where you can actually create your own uh, character, what race you want to be, etc, etc. If you want to be an elf that interacts with dwarves, that's fine. Or if you want to be a dwarf that actually uh, visits the hobbits, go ahead. The solitary pass between the valley of Udun to the north and the plateau of Gogroth to the south is guarded by the dread, graven image of Sauron himself, with the great kinds of men held subjugated in chains. The rock and steel of this visage inspires no deference in me for the craftsmanship or stonework. And by my beard, I am thankful this is the closest I'll ever come to seeing the Dark Lord. The shadows grow long this evening. I will write no more. As you didn't see us actually blow the damn thing up. <laughs> Let us hunt him down! I'd have liked to see Torvin's face when that statue came tumbling down. And Sauron's head crashed to earth. Exactly. <laughs> oh yeah, we can fast travel. I forgot, completely forgot about that. Alrighty, we're gonna make our way to the main mission over here. Get the book there, and then we'll move on. Move on, move on. I 
I'm probably gonna have to start re I'm gonna have to start getting info on these war chiefs. So, where are you? Oh, there it is. Come on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Ah, strength's weakness is already nine. Alrighty, let's grab this. Among the orcs of Mordor, their greatest are the fighting Urukai. And among them, their vicious captains reign over the tribes and armies with ironclad fists. I've dodged more than one pack of foul Uruk on my hunt to these dire lands, and I've stolen glimpses of the right of ascension among these foul folk. Only the strongest and most devious lead, slaughtering their own kind until none stand to oppose them. Brutal, savage, dangerous. And they don't smell very sweet either. All that stuff you're worried about, and you're worried about the smell. Oh, well, guess you're tr guess you're right about them. No doom keeps this dwarf from the grave. His first death will be his last, and his courage is impressive. <laughs> True. Okay, I'll admit, it feels weird with now hearing Kara Brimmore uh, talk about uh, commenting back at us about stuff. Okay, so we only got about one more uh, of his journal pieces, fine. We'll get that uh, once we do the main mission here. Huh. Unwanted aggression. The Butcher's extermination parties have been indiscriminately slaughtered, slaughtering beasts in the wilderness. Learn how to bring a new ally to the fight against this threat. Hmm. Pay attention, Ranger. I think you're right, is he? You boys here, good sir. <laughs> the butcher sending out extermination parties. They're wiping out every creature they can find. They're brutal killers, a lot of them. An ambitious war chief with a well trained army. Sounds like a challenge. But if you've taught me anything, Master Dwarf, it's that the hunt can always turn against you. I'm not entirely sure what's happening in that mind of yours, Captain. But you've baited the hook now. Come on, out with it! I will bring a Graug to bear against their forces. I will show them Mordor cannot be tamed. Now that's a plan! Not very military, though, is it? You've been spending a bit too much time with me. But there's... Uh... One little problem you should know about. That is? Despite all expectations, your problems are rarely ever little, Torben. Yes, well, then this shouldn't surprise you. These troops have already taken down a growl. Or three. You'll need to lure out a rare, wretched growl. Mm -hmm. a disgusting relative who's adapted to the poison from all the ghouls they eat. Wretched growl? Isn't that a bit redundant? I'm not sure what redundant is, but if it means poisonous, then yes, they are extremely redundant. <laughs> All right, Master Dwarf. Show me how to lure these creatures out, and I will do the rest. Just a few scouts tangling with those ghouls. They should make easy prey. Okay, then. Let's let stealth do the work here. Uh, I Okay, growl bait. Okay, we know how to do that. Same with the cannibals. 
Where's the bait? Over here. And... Ah, sugar. Oh. Where are you? God, looks more ugly than the last one. Poison 10 orcs at once. Eat. Okay, we got the bonus objectives done. Don't really need to do them, but hey, they're challenging and a lot of fun. Oh, oh. Out the damn thing. Okay. Guide. Tutorial. Hold L2 and to aim and hold R2 to project the uh, vomit. Ugh. Oh, it damages the Grog too. So I'm going to grab an E the enemies to heal the Grog and press uh, square the vomit. Okay. Jesus. I have to agree. No promises, Master Dwarf. God, oh, frick of mighty. Younger me would have enjoyed this, but older me? Good clip and God. Vomiting? Yeah. And we can't really punch the enemies, we have to vomit on them. Excuse you. The butcher may have lost his ranging parties, but as long as he remains safe in his stronghold, he'll train more of those killers. Show him the safety he can expect with a wretched Graug at his doorstep. <laughs> Ooh, what fun, fun, fun. All right, the beast butcher. Yes, and look at that mask on him. Definitely shows the sign of a maniac. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to only find four of these guys at the moment. Looks like the fifth one is located behind the rest of these, uh, the rest of the other beast masters. Even the Uruks fear the monstrosities of Mordor. They must kill the butcher and keep the orcs afraid. Mm -hmm. And look at that, and all the other side, so got a couple of side challenges that open up. Hey, let's take a look. Not the one closest to us, shall we? Belching monstrosity. The servants of the Dark Lord sent archers to halt his progress through the wilderness. Their attacks would be returned with vile consequences. Literally vile. <laughs> I just ran through that cowgirl. God, I forgot how funny the animation for the for Grog climbing is. God, I would pee my pants if I see, saw this thing running up the street. So then again, I wouldn't be alive for much longer. You gotta have some fun. It's cool. Ugh. Frog. Complete mission within three minutes. Better keep aiming then. Aim and fire. Too far. Dead in time. Yeah. 
Okay, so I can move it while aiming. That's good. A two for one deal. Let's go. Got a bit of a wind up first before I can use it. Only got the wind. I'm out. And get out of my face. Oh, you're still alive? Must have missed you. No, I didn't. Alright, five more. Let's do this. Ah, sugar. Come back here. Yeah, I better start eating some enemies. Couple more. I've got quite a bit of time left. Alright, let's get these two up here. And love this game. That's a two for one deal. One more. Come on, Betsy. Mission complete. Alrighty, let's head over to the other side quest. The other side quest and get things done there. I bet you this is what's going for the all twice right now. Is that fun to go in up, up there? Can't be, not a cloud in the sky. Then they see the crowd go by, walking by, thinking, Oh crap, it's much worse. Well, better be check that last bar of grog before I get eaten. <laughs> Sorry, I can't go to hell myself. God, this thing could literally look like it could just cr run through a building and just leave nothing but splinters behind. <laughs> Can't glom up that high. All right, then, buddy. You go have some fun. Yeah, and this one spits. Yeah, I forgot how fun it was to ride a ground. We should have done more of it back in the main game. Well, I'll get putting a chance of that in Shadows of War. Okay, heaving rampage. His enemies rallied to muster an army. They were unprepared to face the noxious weapon he rode into battle. The noxious weapon, sorry. Thanks, Bell. Okay, eliminate so many Uruks. No bonus. Hungry, hungry boy. I have to agree with Torment. I thought Browse were disgusting before, but God, I'll flip it heck. What the bloody hell were the guys at uh, Monolite thinking when they designed this creature? New optional objective. Okay. Get up, big guy. Okay, so I think it's just the projectile bomber that damages the growl.
Got hundreds here. Okay, where's that next? Ah, there he is. Come on, he's long break. Give him a proper meal. Hey, it's right, heat up quickly. Mission complete. Alrighty, I think we're ready to take down some uh, more cheese. We'll take care of the one up north there, since it's uh, close to uh, Torvin's journal. So, can't, can't find a shadow. Yeah, of course I can't. Let's find a way out of here. Get away from the ghouls, get away from the ghouls. Okay, I think we lost them. Great holes of ghouls inside the stronghold. Yeah, definitely that one, cause I know we unlocked the ability to actually command ghouls, I'm not sure how, but maybe hunting down this war chief here will actually give us that ability. I suppose we'll see once you get there. I know other cabinets will be there, but that just adds to the fun and the challenge. And I always did love a challenge. After all, I do extreme mode on Final Fantasy XIV's uh, more difficult fights. Not the savage modes, but extreme is always hard enough. Yeah, I'm just wandering around like an idiot. I know, I know, but I don't really have any reason to kill these orcs since I don't get any experience from them. In here? No. I guess I was going the right way before. Oh yeah, the entrance is up the cliff here. Wall over there. That works too. Okay. Yeah. Few things in Mordor cause even the Uruks and trolls to quake in fear. And one such beast is the rare horned Graug. Standing nearly five dwarves tall, they're nigh unstoppable juggernauts of wanton destruction. Their very skin is tougher than leather, resistant to even the sharpest steel. If you can get close enough to strike a blow, what I wouldn't give for a mithril blade on my next hunt for these dire monstrosities. Okay. That's... I'm not 100% sure if mithril is only well crafted by the elves or by dwarves. I don't know, because I know dwarves are smiths themselves, but elves have their own unique craft. But... We'll see, we'll see. I wonder what the dwarf is obsessed over now that his hated growl is slain. Who can tell, really? Anyway, let's go ahead and hunt us the war chief. Ugh. 
oh yeah, before I get started, there's actually one more thing I wanted to talk about. It's a part of the main game. There was an online feature that allowed you to avenge uh, players who were fallen in battle by certain captains. This feature <coughs> is basically, again, online. So, sorry, I'm just repeating what I'm saying, but what you would do was there would be a certain icon that would appear on your map. I think there was a talk of the form of a, a skull in a, a side quest there, marker. Anyway, when you accepted this challenge, you will be told to events the death of uh, such and such going after a certain orc who I think that, that that is in their game. So you get to see what their orc was and probably have the chance to actually hunt that orc. So it's just probably unique to get game because again, the nemesis system changes what orcs you fight. So say if you had the uh, one of the black gate. If you're in this game, if he was killed by that one, there's a chance you may be able to face him and either kill him or brand him to bring him to your army. Either way, that's the uh, feature. Sad that we, I think they took the online feature of that off uh, the game for quite a while back now. I just hope they haven't took the online feature off for Shadows of War yet. Because there are certain, certain things in the game that you can collect and some of them are, are exclusive to online so I'll have to be showing that off too so let's hope they haven't turned online off again but anyway in the line rambling let's get started stronghold uprising you'll have to flood his garrison with ghouls to set our enemies against each other okay can't fight to save their lives Ten of them weak legs. I think I see. No, I can't reach from here. All right, let's be quiet about this one here. Some more bait over there. All right. Aha! Here we are. Where's that third one? Behind the wall. Gonna have to get further. There you are. So ten auras with baited ghouls. All right, you ugly bastards. Do your work. But to sit back and watch the carnage happen. Wretched Grub stun. Shoot two charge shots at the Wretched Grub's head to stun him. When a go when a Wretched Grub is when you stun a Wretched Grub, nearby ghouls would jump on and start attacking him. Let's see if I can get this trophy then, shall we? Defeat Stompy the Grog. <laughs> Ready? Another two shots. Got 
going to need more arrows. Please tell me we've got more girls in here. Oh, they're That's right. Eat the ground. Eat the ground. I don't think I've got the trophy there. No. I think I'm gonna have to do this outside the mission here. Oh uh, well. Let's go greet us. Let's go make ourselves known. Oh boy. You can try, ugly. Ow. Okay, I gotta worry about the ghoul matriarchs and I gotta worry about these losers too. It's a shame I can't brand him. Let's set this place ablaze, shall we? Nothing to like blue fire. Not one of the words. <laughs> ah, sugar. Get over. Really hate hunters. One down, four to go. How did that Uruk manage to tame a Grog? I hope I have put a permanent end to such an alliance. Yeah. Come here, Caragor. Sorry, Caragor. On to our next mission. So I didn't get to ta uh, tame uh, ghouls yet. Probably have to do that with the fourth uh, war chief. Who can say? But anyway, let's take care of the rest of these captains. Uh, next target, it answers with projectile vomit to draw out Zugoth. But beast butcher. So no rest for the wretched. <laughs> nice choice of words.
Yeah, it looks like the DLCs here might be, uh, have three parts of them. Because I know I won't be able to finish this one in, uh, in this episode. So if the next video is a bit of a shorter one, apologies. Hey. 20 arches with projectile vomit. Come on, turn, turn, big guy. I don't think your trainers put you up to fighting a wretched growl. A regular one? Yes. Wretched? I very much doubt that. <laughs> Oh, we got one down here. Come here. Lunch time. Sorry, dinner time. Three for one deal. Nice. Oh, I thought I had one. Yum, yum, yum. Over here, need two more. Definitely a tribal look with him. Let's go introduce ourselves, Pukey. <laughs> Ooh, he's got four bodyguards. Well, this is gonna be fun. Alright, Pukey. Have some fun. Oh no. That's two of it, these bodyguards now. Yeah. I think Jesus, my been Christ. He's got explosives! You brought a beast to face a great hunter on his own turf! You know nothing of the hunt, but you will know death! Okay, so he's got a counter. Ow, ow, ow! Oh, sweet flipping! All enemies of Sauron. What? That was unfair. He literally took me down with this explosive bolt. And I only got a. Uh, didn't even get a second chance there. Let's try that again, shall we? 
unfinished business. The theory of my defeat, huh? Let's go ruin this one, shall we? Okay, we got Pukey back, so let's see if it'll be any more any help against Zugoth here. Alrighty, Pukey, let's do this. Don't turn, flip, no. Up here, up here. Alrighty, climb up here. Come on, climb, climb. Good boy. Don't have any L shots. Returned from the dead to challenge me again. Very well. Okay, that's cool. Well, at least he's not immune to arrows. So a couple of his, a few of his skull women to do a trick, or several. Burn, baby, burn. Should have done that in the first place. This should put an end to the butcher's extermination parties. Mm -hmm. Dogs suffer the ravages of nature. Keep going, Yuki. I think he can actually brand the captain, just not the war chief. Okay, next war chief, blasted Urux. <laughs> Chase down and cool Corius in order to draw out Ashgard smuggler. Should have just called him Ashgard the smuggler. Would have made a lot more sense. The devourer. Looks like he's getting devoured himself. Jesus. That's one heck of a way to go around. Dying by vomit. <laughs> okay. You'll have to track down his couriers and destroy them along with their cargo. Chase down, chase down the shoot ten or carriers before they can secure the blasting powder. Well, let's cut them off. And not cut them off at the pass. Because I hate that cliche. So just aim for the orcs and... <laughs> Ooh, what fun. Whoops. Yeah, aim for the orc and not the cargoes. Deliver the blasting powder. They will wreak unknown havoc. Tell me something we done already now. And there go. Let's head him off. Where's this one going? Ah, sugar. Out of focus, too. That blasting powder could even make short work of the walls of Minas Ethel. Cool, yeah. I think Minas Ethel was actually located inside Mordor before it fell.
Three for one. Sorry, buddy. Blame my blame my uh, bad aim for that. Come on, just a Beast against beast, huh? Ooh, what fun! <laughs> Let's get him. Hold all to press triangle to tackle nearby orc. Nearby orcs off that mount. Deal with these lunatics too. Immune to range. This time, <laughs> that's not on down. The smuggler is dead, and the blasting powder destroyed. Who knows what catastrophes I've averted this day? Yeah, now let's get out of here. Away from these guys. Uh, can I pull to a tower? No, I can't yet. Sugar. No weapons. There's an aim for him, or the aim for the carabol. Carab god. Play with the orcs, not me. Okay. Still following me, flipping heck. I think I lost them. Relentless, aren't you? Sorry about all that, but I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> we got the ride a puke and grog. Actually, but Jack Doll vomit on enemies. That is pretty much a dream to some people, just killing enemies and puke. No, no, me, though. Good Christ almighty. What kind of drugs were they on? Was Monolith on when they thought of this enemy idea? Christ on a stick. That is something else entirely. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and show your support for the channel. I would really, really appreciate that. I'm going to take a break. I've been recording uh, several videos non-stop. And actually, I think I'll make the next one my last one and call for today. So thank you all again. And I hope you all have a good day. Take care of yourselves and enjoy safely out there, people. Bye-bye and take care.